Have you ever wondered about the life behind the famous catchphrase, What you talking about, Willis? This is the story of Gary Coleman, a child star whose life was as impactful as it was tragic. No jail time, not leaving my house, not paying any heavy fines. From his cherubic face to his tumultuous life off screen, Coleman's journey through fame and adversity reveals a complex tapestry of talent, struggle, and resilience. Whoa, you're Gary Coleman. I know who I am. Let's dive into the life of a star who shone brightly but faded all too soon. Early life and rise to fame. Gary Coleman, born on February 8, 1968 in Zion, Illinois, entered the world with immediate challenges. Adopted by W.G. Coleman, a skilled forklift operator, and Edmonia Sue, a nurse practitioner, Gary faced a life-altering condition from the start. Diagnosed with a congenital kidney disease, focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, he underwent two kidney transplants before he even reached his teenage years, the first at age five and the second in 1984. This condition stunted his growth, leaving him at four feet eight inches tall, with a youthful appearance that became his trademark in the years to come. Despite these health challenges, Coleman's charisma and talent shone through. His journey to stardom began with a guest appearance in a Chicago-based commercial. His infectious personality and natural acting abilities quickly caught the attention of television producers. In 1978, at the tender age of 10, Coleman landed the role that would define his career and make him a household name, Arnold Jackson, in the NBC sitcom Different Strokes. Different Strokes was more than just a television show, it was a cultural phenomenon. The series, which ran from 1978 to 1986, revolved around two African-American boys from Harlem, adopted by a wealthy white businessman, Philip Drummond. Coleman's character, Arnold, with his precocious charm and witty one-liners, especially the iconic, What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> became the heart of the show. His performance earned him critical acclaim, including a Young Artist Award for Best Young Actor in a Comedy Series and several nominations. Coleman's success on different strokes catapulted him to stardom. He became one of the highest paid child actors of the late 1970s and early 1980s. His fame was not just limited to the television screen. He became a cultural icon, gracing the covers of magazines, appearing on talk shows, and even starring in his own animated series, The Gary Coleman Show, in 1982. However, Coleman's rapid rise to fame was not without its challenges. The pressure of being a child star, combined with his ongoing health issues, began to take a toll. He often found himself at the center of media attention, not just for his performances, but also for his personal life. Despite these struggles, Coleman continued to work in the entertainment industry, appearing in various TV shows and movies. His talent and determination kept him in the public eye, but the shadow of his early fame and health issues loomed large. In this period of his life, Coleman demonstrated remarkable resilience. He navigated the complexities of fame, health, and personal challenges with a spirit that many found inspiring. His story is not just one of a child star, but also of a young man grappling with the realities of life in the spotlight, fighting to maintain his identity and dignity in a world that often seemed to be against him. As we delve deeper into Gary Coleman's life, we'll explore how he managed these challenges the personal and professional ups and downs, and the legacy he left behind. Coleman's life is a testament to the human spirit's capacity to endure, inspire, and overcome in the face of overwhelming odds. Challenges and Struggles Gary Coleman's journey through stardom was fraught with challenges that went beyond the usual trappings of celebrity life. His story is a poignant reminder of the pitfalls of early fame, and the personal battles that often remain hidden behind the glitz and glamour. Gary's life was constantly overshadowed by his health issues. The same kidney disease that defined his physical stature also demanded a rigorous and often exhausting medical regimen. Despite undergoing two kidney transplants, he required regular dialysis, a process that was both time-consuming and physically draining. These health challenges weren't just a personal struggle, they affected his professional life too. His condition sometimes limited his ability to work, 
placing him under additional stress. Financial woes were a significant part of Coleman's struggles. In a twist that's sadly common among child stars, he found his finances in disarray. Despite earning a substantial income during the peak of his career, Coleman discovered that his wealth had been grossly mismanaged. In 1989, in a shocking revelation, he sued his parents and business advisor for misappropriation of his funds. This legal battle, while resulting in a $1.28 million ruling in his favor, was a harrowing experience that exposed the dark side of his early success. The financial victory was short-lived, however, as Coleman declared bankruptcy in 1999, citing mismanagement and chronic health problems as contributing factors. This bankruptcy was a public fall from grace for someone who had once been on top of the world. Gary Coleman's life was also marred by legal issues. In various incidents, he found himself on the wrong side of the law, often for reasons stemming from his personal struggles and public reactions to his fame. His confrontations were sometimes amplified by the media, further damaging his public image. These legal troubles were a stark contrast to the lovable character he played on television, and they contributed to a growing public perception of Coleman as troubled and contentious. Coleman's personal life was no less turbulent. His marriage to Shannon Price in 2007 was a whirlwind affair that quickly turned sour. The relationship was tumultuous, marked by public disputes and legal battles. The couple appeared on Divorce Court in 2008, an ironic twist for a marriage that had barely begun. Their relationship was a roller coaster of emotions, filled with accusations and restraining orders, reflecting the chaotic nature of Coleman's personal life. This tumult was not just a private matter, but played out in the public eye, adding to the many pressures he faced. The scrutiny of the public and media was a constant in Coleman's life. His unique appearance, due to his medical condition and his legal and personal issues, made him a target for both adoration and ridicule. The media often portrayed him in a less than flattering light, focusing on his struggles rather than his achievements. This portrayal contributed to a public image that was at odds with his professional persona. The Gary Coleman that people loved on screen was increasingly at odds with the Gary Coleman portrayed in the tabloids. Professionally, Coleman struggled to replicate the success he enjoyed on different strokes. He found it challenging to secure roles that weren't typecast or that matched the fame and acclaim of his earlier work. This struggle is common among child actors, who often find their early roles defining their career in limiting ways. Coleman's attempts to branch out were met with mixed success, a source of professional frustration for an actor who had once been at the top of his game. The toll of fame on Gary Coleman was multifaceted. It affected his health, his personal relationships, his finances, and his professional life. The challenges he faced were a complex mix of the personal and the public, often intertwined in ways that made them difficult to navigate. His life serves as a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of early fame and the importance of managing the many aspects of a public life with care and foresight. Personal Life and Relationships Gary Coleman's personal life, often overshadowed by his public persona, was a tapestry of relationships, both endearing and tumultuous. Behind the scenes of his on-screen success, Coleman navigated a complex web of personal connections that shaped his life in profound ways. Born to unknown parents and adopted shortly thereafter, Coleman's relationship with his adoptive parents, W.G. and Edmonia Sue Coleman, started on a nurturing note. However, as Gary rose to fame, this relationship became strained, particularly around the management of his finances. The lawsuit he filed against them in 1989 for misappropriation of his trust fund marked a painful public breakdown in their relationship. This legal battle, while professionally necessary for Gary, was personally devastating, highlighting the often complex and fraught relationships child stars can have with their families. Gary's ongoing health issues played a significant role in shaping his personal life. His condition not only affected his physical stature, but also impacted his self-image and relationships. Growing up in the public eye, with a chronic illness and a unique appearance, Gary faced challenges in forming a normal self-identity. 
He often spoke about the difficulties of being perceived perpetually as a child, a sentiment that influenced his interactions and relationships. Coleman's marriage to Shannon Price, whom he met on the set of Church Ball in 2007, was a significant chapter in his personal life. Their relationship was a whirlwind romance, quickly leading to marriage in 2008. However, the marriage was fraught with difficulties. The couple's frequent public disputes, including appearances on shows like Divorce Court, painted a picture of a relationship in turmoil. Their union was marked by legal issues, including a restraining order filed by Coleman against Price. Despite their divorce in 2008, the couple continued to live together, a situation that only added to the complexity and public fascination with their relationship. Gary's interactions with others were often challenging. His fame, combined with his personal and health struggles, seemed to create barriers in forming deep, lasting relationships. There were instances of physical altercations and public disputes, some involving Price, which further complicated his personal life. These incidents, often played out in the media, painted a picture of a man struggling to find peace and stability in his personal connections. Despite the challenges, Coleman did form meaningful relationships throughout his life. He had friendships within the industry, including with his co-stars on different strokes. These relationships provided some semblance of support and normalcy amidst his turbulent life. However, the nature of these friendships, often complicated by the dynamics of show business, meant that Coleman had a support system that was at times as unpredictable as his career. The public's perception of Coleman's personal life was often at odds with the reality. While he was beloved for his television character, his real life was scrutinized and, at times, judged harshly. This dichotomy between the lovable on-screen persona and the troubled off-screen individual created a narrative that was difficult for Coleman to navigate. His personal life became fodder for tabloids, often overshadowing his professional achievements and the human side of his struggles. Gary Coleman's reflections on his life and relationships were often tinged with a sense of struggle and a quest for normalcy. He spoke about his challenges with fame, health, and relationships in various interviews, revealing a man who was introspective and aware of his complex circumstances. Despite his struggles, there were moments of clarity and contentment, suggesting a deep desire for a more peaceful and stable personal life. Coleman's personal journey, with its highs and lows, left a lasting impact on those who knew him and on his fans. His struggles with relationships, health, and identity are relatable to many, making his story not just one of a celebrity, but of a human being, navigating the complexities of life. His legacy in this regard is a poignant reminder of the human side of fame and the universal challenges of personal connections and self-identity later career and public perception. The trajectory of Gary Coleman's career after the end of Different Strokes in 1986 is a narrative of resilience in the face of diminishing opportunities, paired with a fluctuating public perception that often veered from sympathetic to critical. Post Different Strokes, Coleman faced the common plight of many child actors, the challenge of transitioning to adult roles. Typecast as the adorable Arnold Jackson, he found it difficult to secure roles that diverged from his established image. This typecasting, coupled with his distinctive physical appearance, limited his opportunities in mainstream Hollywood. Coleman made various appearances in television and film, but none matched the success or impact of his breakout role. He voiced characters in animated shows like Waynehead and made guest appearances in series such as The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but these roles were often more nostalgic callbacks rather than significant career advancements. Coleman's career path saw him exploring opportunities beyond traditional acting roles. He dabbled in video game voiceovers, including the popular game The Curse of Monkey Island, and made appearances in music videos, most notably in John Cena's Bad Bad Man in 2005. These ventures highlighted Coleman's willingness to explore new avenues but they also underscored the limited opportunities available to him in mainstream acting. Facing financial difficulties, Coleman took on various odd jobs, a move that garnered significant media attention. He worked as a security guard, a role that was often sensationalized by the press. 
This period of his life was marked by a stark contrast between his previous celebrity status and his everyday struggles to make ends meet. It was a humbling turn for a star who once commanded substantial salaries, and it was not lost on the public or the media. Coleman's later life was plagued by legal troubles that further complicated his public image. Arrests and legal confrontations painted a picture of a man in constant conflict with his circumstances. These incidents were widely covered by the media, often overshadowing his past achievements. The media portrayal of Coleman during this time was a mix of empathy and sensationalism, reflecting the public's conflicted feelings about former child stars in distress. Public perception of Coleman during these years was complex. On one hand, there was sympathy for his health struggles and the challenges he faced transitioning from child stardom. On the other hand, his frequent legal issues and unconventional career choices led to criticism and ridicule. This dichotomy in public sentiment reflected the broader societal views on fame, particularly the fall from grace of beloved public figures. Throughout these challenges, Coleman attempted several comebacks. He participated in reality shows and made appearances on platforms like The Surreal Life and Divorce Court. These appearances were attempts to stay relevant in the public eye, but they also exposed the personal struggles he continued to face. Coleman's efforts to revive his career were met with mixed reactions, highlighting the fickle nature of fame and public interest. The disparity between Gary Coleman, the person, and Gary Coleman, the celebrity, became increasingly evident. The adorable, wise-cracking child star was now a man grappling with real-life issues, far removed from the scripted world of sitcoms. This dissonance was at the heart of the public's fluctuating perception of him. In reflecting on Coleman's later career and public perception, it becomes evident that his story is a nuanced tale of a life lived in the limelight. With all its attendant blessings and curses, his journey from a beloved child actor to a figure often mired in controversy is a poignant reminder of the ephemeral nature of fame and the human cost that can come with it. Final Years and Legacy The final years of Gary Coleman's life were a period marked by continued health challenges, personal struggles, and moments of reflection on a life that had unfolded in the full glare of the public eye. Gary's lifelong battle with kidney disease continued to take a toll on his health. In 2009, he underwent heart surgery, an operation shrouded in privacy, but one that hinted at the severity of his health issues. His final years were marred by multiple hospitalizations, including incidents in 2010 that were widely reported in the media. On May 26, 2010, Coleman suffered a severe head injury at his home in Utah, leading to a critical condition. He passed away two days later on May 28 at the age of 42, leaving behind a legacy tinged with both fond memories and poignant lessons about the costs of early fame. Gary Coleman's legacy in entertainment is indelibly marked by his role as Arnold Jackson in Different Strokes. His character, with its blend of humor and charm, left an enduring impact on popular culture. Coleman's catchphrase, what you talking about, Willis, became a part of the American lexicon, a testament to his influence as a child actor. Despite the challenges in his later career, his contribution to television, especially in the realm of sitcoms, remained significant. Coleman helped break racial barriers and brought joy and laughter to millions, cementing his place in the annals of television history. Gary Coleman's life and struggles also sparked broader conversations about the exploitation of child actors, the management of their finances, and the psychological toll of early fame. His legal battle with his parents over his earnings was a watershed moment, highlighting the need for better protections for child stars. His experiences paved the way for more awareness and eventual reforms in how the entertainment industry treats its young talents. The public's response to Coleman's personal struggles was mixed. While some viewed him with sympathy, others were less kind, focusing on his legal troubles and odd jobs. However, as the full extent of his challenges became apparent, especially towards the end of his life, there was a growing sense of empathy for what he had endured. His life story serves as a reminder of the human side of celebrities 
and the complexities they face beyond the spotlight. Coleman's journey through fame, with its highs and lows, offered insights into the complexities of child stardom and the difficulties in maintaining a public persona. His struggle to find roles that transcended his child star image, and his efforts to lead a normal life amidst constant public scrutiny, highlighted the challenges faced by those who achieve fame at a young age. In the years following his death, Coleman has been remembered not only for his iconic role, but also for his resilience in the face of adversity. Tributes and retrospectives have focused on his contributions to television and the unique challenges he overcame. His life story continues to be a subject of interest, a blend of nostalgia for his on-screen persona and a deeper understanding of his off-screen struggles. Gary Coleman's work, particularly on different strokes, continues to resonate with audiences, both as a source of entertainment and as a cultural reference point. The show's reruns and its place in pop culture ensure that his performance lives on, introducing new generations to his talent and charm. Navigating Fame and Personal Identity Gary Coleman's life presents a complex interplay between the allure of fame and the pursuit of personal identity, a theme that resonates deeply within the narrative of his life and career. Propelled into stardom at a young age, Coleman had to navigate the challenging waters of fame while still developing his sense of self. His role as Arnold Jackson in different strokes brought him immense popularity, but it also typecast him at a formative age. This early identification with a fictional character complicated his personal identity development. He was often seen and treated as Arnold, blurring the lines between his real self and his on-screen persona. Despite his fame, Coleman yearned for a normal life. He spoke candidly in interviews about his desire to be treated like an average person, free from the constraints of celebrity. This longing for normalcy was a recurring theme in his life, reflected in his various attempts to step away from the limelight and engage in everyday activities and jobs. Coleman's relationships, particularly his tumultuous marriage, were heavily scrutinized and often portrayed in a negative light by the media. This public intrusion made it difficult for him to forge genuine connections, as his personal life was constantly under the microscope. The dichotomy between his public image and his private self was a source of distress and confusion, both for Coleman and for those who tried to know him beyond his celebrity status. The exploitation Coleman faced, especially regarding his finances, further complicated his relationship with fame. His legal battles with his parents over his earnings highlighted the darker side of celebrity, where financial exploitation and mismanagement are all too common. These experiences left a lasting impact on Coleman, fostering a sense of mistrust and caution in his interactions within the entertainment industry. Coleman's health issues were a significant part of his identity. His physical appearance, influenced by his kidney condition, became a defining aspect of his public image. While it contributed to his unique charm on screen, it also led to typecasting and public scrutiny off screen. His health struggles were a constant reminder of the fragility of life and the superficiality of fame. Throughout his career, Coleman made several attempts to reinvent himself and step out of the shadow of Arnold Jackson. These efforts included exploring different types of roles, participating in reality TV, and even running for governor of California in 2003. While these attempts were met with varying degrees of success, they were crucial in his quest to redefine his identity beyond his child star persona. The media played a significant role in shaping Coleman's public identity. Often focusing on his legal troubles and personal issues, the media portrayal contributed to a narrative that sometimes overshadowed his professional achievements and the more nuanced aspects of his personality. This external shaping of his identity was a constant battle for Coleman, as he sought to assert his true self in the public eye. Gary Coleman's legacy extends beyond his work as an actor. It encompasses his struggles and triumphs in dealing with fame, personal identity, and the challenges of life in the spotlight. His story is a powerful reminder of the human aspects of celebrities and the complexities they navigate beyond their public personas.